am I supposed to get the chair when I've got a baby in my hands? We missed your accent. Oh, it's a cute little bobby. Cute it's little like bob. Today. Cute little, little, little bobby bob bob. <laughs> oh, no. Get baby, I'll get chair. <laughs> Two options while we're filming for you. Crying's not an option. <laughs> Probably will be one. We've got Big the pink play gym, gym, or we've got the bouncer, or we've got bed. And we've got a dummy. <laughs> she looks so cute. Way, way, and go away. Oh, is that funny? Got chair. Oh my god. She's wanted to do the accents, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, now he's changing his fit for the video. Oh, and he's over it already. Right. Hi, guys. Welcome to a new YouTube video. I'm, oh, look, Wynn is not, she's not happy being in the back. She wants to be in the front with us now. Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. We are about to film a little catty chat-chat. <laughs> chatty catch up i haven't actually filmed in a little while because we were on holiday and i was going to film on holiday but we just decided nah. not to um so that we could really be like in the moment and spend some time with win and just i feel like i've really learned to well actually me and now both wrote captions that were so similar about our holiday Accidents. without even realizing where we just really wanted to be present with Wynn and since being a mum I feel like I've just got much better at that so I didn't pick up the camera. Mm. What do you do to put your new jumper on just for a QA? and a I like making an effort. No, I was having a mare with this tag, that's going to be funny when you put it back. <laughs> Niles uh, joined the cast of um, The Holiday. <laughs> That, I'm getting autumnal, alright? <laughs> He's obsessed over his autumnal fits at the moment. So we just thought we'd do a big catch up and we haven't actually properly caught up since we've had Win. and so I thought... <laughs> Me and you. <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't had a catch up since then, we haven't barely spoke. Nope. <laughs> well, lots of questions from Instagram <laughs> and I've dragged Niall into this one because I thought that it would be nice. They're not all parent related. I like doing these videos, they're fun. Do you? Yeah. We haven't done it for a while. Do you know what? We can actually do say it or shot us this Christmas. Yeah, I was gonna say. One. I was gonna say, where's the vodka? I know. We did used to do that a lot. Didn't it's we? not like how it they used to be, back. is it? Would you like a say it or shot it? And we should get Carl involved. Shot Speaking it. of Carl, actually, let's start. Oh. Should we start with a Carl question or something? <laughs> Just maybe think. What the question is. Does Carl spend much time with you still? Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. Probably yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. He helps out with Winnie sometimes, and he just loves being. Yeah. Around Winnie, doesn't he? Well, he works more with me now as well as you. Yeah. As well. He took so. on some more responsibilities when you were. Uh, oh, oh, bless you. Oh. Yeah, no, he took on quite a lot when I was on maternity leave in terms of my two businesses. So he was, he like overarchingly manages. <laughs> That's Overarching. such a bad word. But he's like my overarching sort of manager and sort of was feeding back everything from me to like the a, teams. He was like a buffer zone between you and everyone else, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a little funnel. <laughs> <laughs> Your funnel. But he's yeah. sort of kept that job now. I think um, he likes to, he, he loves being organised and organising really things. Organized, so I think he actually relishes that. He's really job. good at it and it's really helpful for me while obviously I, I'm not kind of fully back mm. to work. I don't even know if I will be because because of Wynne and being her mum. I still want to sort of, it's just nice having a bit more balance in my life because I feel like for a long time I didn't and Carl really helps me with that, doesn't he? Yeah. But yeah, he we, we are with Carl probably more than ever again. We had a bit of a gap where I think we were with him loads at Christmas time and then, or maybe he just wasn't on camera as much. He says to me now, he's like, when we look at old TikToks and videos that me and Carl used to do where he was really silly, he's like, I'm not like that anymore. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's but grown he, up. Yeah, he's he has. He's too mature now. No, he, he says it to wind me up, but I don't know if I would be able to get Carl to get involved with some of the things we used to do. I don't even know if I would. I feel like uh, some things I'm a bit too old for. Now. When you've got a kid, it's different. He's spending a lot of time around here yeah. since, since yeah, when he was he, born. And He's really close with Winnie. Okay, can you talk about some of the harder parts of having a newborn and what you've learnt? Getting up to do the night feed every night can be difficult. The tiredness, I think, is tiredness. probably I feel the quite hardest used bit. To it. 
yeah i feel like our bodies have massively adapted to like just broken sleep i feel like i can just get on with it better when i feel yeah. tired but are you because sometimes i used to well i still do sometimes anyway but when i used to struggle sleeping before winnie was born i used to just dread well like when i'd wake up super tired after a sleepless night I'd just be like, oh, i can't be bothered but i don't really feel like that now do you know what something that i feel like really helps is just actually her because like mm. it's when she just smiles in the morning yeah when you're really tired it just sort of makes up for it i find yeah for sure we'll talk about you baby i would say though that we are lucky that we don't have to go to work and be somewhere at 9 a.m because i think that would make it a lot harder yeah because like when my when i was growing up my dad used to sleep in a separate room to my mum during those newborn days because he had to be in london at like nine o'clock in the morning yeah and needed to sleep whereas we because we were our own bosses mm. and we work at home predominantly is helpful so yeah but yeah i think probably the the sleep was the hardest to adjust to at the beginning because you can't really prepare for it when i do sleep though i feel like i sleep better do you feel, think yeah i have like really vivid dreams now when i sleep even if it's like maybe three or four hours content. at a time yeah maybe that's it <laughs> i just i don't know i feel yeah i feel like the sleep's less but when i do sleep it's like your body's like <laughs> Give it to me. Do you know what? Something that I don't think I've spoken about yet anywhere. I, I think I've mentioned it to you a couple of times. And I asked my mum if she had this being a mum. But the thing I struggle with is the like dooming thoughts. Where I'm like carrying her and I just have these sort of flashing moments of oh just imagine she fell or I fell or like when I'm walking down this every single time I walk down the stairs and it's so horrible. Mm -hmm. And I cling to her when I think of it in my head as like if like I fell or mm. like tripped. No, well, it's good. It's, it's a parental instinct, isn't it? Because you're but you're thinking about the clumsy. worst possible scenario, but at the same time, it's making you more cautious what you're doing. Yeah, but, but that does I scare do, me. I do get that sometimes you just have horrible thoughts, like dangerous thoughts coming. Not like it's called something, isn't it? I don't know. Is it? It is called something when you like. You just imagine like really disastrous. awful things ha happening, and I never used to think like that really. But it's just, it's That's just cool. your inbuilt parental instinct. But always Tell having you. that worry, like I always worry about Winnie now, and I'm like, she's so precious that it scares me sometimes. Yeah. Because she's like, can't, she's incapable mm. of doing anything, and so I just that scares me the thought that she's so innocent. Yeah. And just so incapable of doing mm -hmm. anything right now for us. You're that, blob. That's scary. Yeah, you um, just need mummy and daddy to help you out, don't you? I know, but the thought of like something happening to me for the sake of her now is what scares me too when I think like oh, imagine I got ill or like something just something awful happened. <clears throat> yeah. To one of us and she didn't have one of us. Yeah, yeah. Just all those sort of horrible thoughts. Two under two question mark. <laughs> Two under two. Oh, two kids under two. two. Where do you want? If you want to go for it, I don't know about that. What would that? That would be we'd need to conceive, hopefully, by like. By the time she's a year and three months, kind of, or a year or so. Yeah. Nah. That's she's three months now. Got eight, I mean, a lot of people do it, but I know this sounds really selfish, but I really don't want to be pregnant on my thirtieth. And like, my brother's getting married next year. Mm. And I just wouldn't, like, because it's in Mexico, if I was heavily pregnant, it would just be difficult. And, like, the other thing I, f I find is just the thought of sharing my heart. What do you mean? Because you, they say that your heart doubles in size, but at the moment I can't imagine, like, loving another baby yet, because I want to give it all to her. That's yeah. why I always think that it must be difficult for people with twins. And I know you probably, it just happens. But the thought of, like, sharing my love i don't know it's just weird yeah i, weird I get what babies. you mean yeah but it would be a whole other nine months no, but but it's gonna happen and like being pregnant i'd have to be pregnant soon and i'd worry about like not being able to give her as much of me yet i don't know but then i don't want the big gap Are you worried either. that you'd have a favorite no, I'm not worried. That <laughs> I reckon I some parents do. Have yeah, they probably do, but they never say. But no, I'm not worried about that. I just feel like I, I want to give Winnie all, all of me for a while. Yeah, I get that. I, say, I don't really, really feel the hard. same as that. Well, yeah, it must be hard. But two then, the two. but then, they say if you, 
don't don't they get more difficult? Yeah. They're, they're more it, when they're like walking or running about. They're more mobile. Surely that's a little bit more difficult. You got a screaming newborn at the same time. There's, so there's pros maybe, and cons. I think there are pros and cons. But I wonder if it's easier having two under two or like. Yeah, let us know, guys. Or Anyone a baby when you've got a you, three-year-old or a, or a four-year-old. Mm -hmm. Three under three. Oh, buddy. <laughs> four under four. <laughs> Yeah, it's easy for you five. to say, isn't it? Easy for you. If we do have another baby, which I would like to, hopefully, I want them to be quite close in age so that they can like hang out. I that think part. our next one might be a devil child. Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we've been quite lucky with Winnie. She's quite easy in general, and I think we, the next one won't be a devil. Two under three, maybe. Well, I, even, when They're going to be like years? ten years apart. Yeah, but it's because of my third. One's oh, gonna be going to uni, the other's gonna be going to nursery at your age. She's gonna be moving out. I know! She's gonna be buying we her own house. this really badly! Oh, fuck your 30 if we can do it again. No, 30, 30 and thriving. Not with a bump though. Has your relationship felt any strain since having Win? You hear it so often. Um, that you go through times, yeah. yeah. I think we maybe have had moments where the, it's strained a bit. I think it's easier to lose a bit of affection maybe, you have to make more of an effort to make sure that you're still doing that and yeah, I mean it is, is less for sure, it's a little bit less just because you know we're literally Can you see how we're sitting right now? <laughs> if, we're, if we're working all day, uh, we've both been quite busy, I've been quite busy with the book as well <coughs> You get to the end of the day and it's you know, it's 11 p.m. and you're sat in bed, and you just kind of want to just chill out and do and just watch something for yourself. Sometimes, not to say that there's zero affection in our relationship now, but <laughs> I think, but we're quite good at being conscious of it. But yeah. at the time, yeah, sometimes it's you know there is just less time for you to as a Definitely as a relationship, in the very and early that's just the reality. Well. Yeah, in the really early first few days, weeks. You're just fucking exhausted, aren't you? Yeah. I do feel like you have to communicate what your needs are. Mm. But I do also think that there are stages within those early days where like you actually forget about it slightly and then Yeah, it I don't comes back. it's not something that's been like playing on my mind or anything. It's not at the time I'm thinking, Oh it's just you look back, you think, Oh yeah, we need to actually make a make a conscious effort to make sure that we make time for me and you it's difficult to have that like alone time together because you basically have less time for yourself first and foremost and then as well as that you have less time for each other and that is just the reality of becoming a parent but i think we kind of knew that was going to happen if you're not prepared for that then but you know. i do you know what that like, i will say though because i know so many, this so much like horrible things on TikTok about this and how you, your relationship's basically over and it, it's not true. Well no because I think at the same time you're building a, a stronger bond in some ways because yeah. now you have your own beautiful baby that you, you care for and it's like the most meaningful job that you'll ever do together and so in some ways we've actually built a stronger connection because well, of that. We've, we've built a bigger unit as a family, haven't we? Yeah, exactly. Which feels like, it's, it's different, your relationship kind of changes, but also I think it's good to remember that maybe at the moment we've got slightly less time to like, you know, give each other everything to each other because our energy is elsewhere, but it is just a phase. Yeah. And as she starts to sleep in her own room, like, that will be a slightly different phase as well. And then when she's sleeping from 7 p.m. till 7 a.m., hopefully, when she's like one or whatever, then you have your evenings back where it's just you two. But yeah. at the moment, I don't, I I don't know. She's, she's. I was, I was saying this the other night, she's almost like a little extension of us, even more so at the moment, because she's not quite her own person, really. Mm. In a way, she is just like a innocent little baby that is. Proves herself. <laughs> I think they do that for quite a long time. <laughs> now you're a mum, what is your view on the just you wait phrase that is said to expectant mums? I hate it. That's your pet peeve. It is my pet peeve. I always snap back with just you wait. For just this, you wait. Which is like a good thing. Because you just don't need to hear that when you're pregnant. You don't need to hear just you wait, your world's about to turn upside down. Like, I know. But I don't need to hear that. And also, everyone's experience is so different as a mum. And, like, it's, it is hard. But also, there are great parts to it too. Like, really great things that no one really speaks about. 
Yeah. And it just annoys me because it just makes women so negative towards motherhood. And don't get me wrong, I know some people have not a good time with it at all. And it will depend on you, your baby, your setup, and just, you know, you might get postpartum depression or you might not. And that can change it completely as well. And so can your birth and what kind of pregnancy you had. But. I just feel like, I don't know, it's just the worst phrase, just you wait, it just... <laughs> yeah, it's difficult, because obviously can't... some people do have a really difficult but time with it, but can't... then do you have to go to everyone else, just just you wait, like, it's, it's going to be fucking shit. <laughs> well, yeah, and also it's just like such an anxiety-inducing phrase, just yeah. you wait. Yeah. Like, you, you can be like, yeah, there will be hard times, but I don't know, I, I just feel so like there's a way of putting it, and... Also, right into strangers, or actually, it's often family members that are like, "Just you wait, you're not going to sleep again." And yeah. it's like, why would you want someone to go into parenthood just but like the people feeling that go, really anxious? The people that go, sleep now, because you're going to need it. Like, well, fill up that tank. How can you fill up that tank? You can't fill up a tank of sleep. Can you? As soon as you have one bad night's sleep, you're going to be tired. So also, what's the point? When I was pregnant, I slept worse. Because you're yeah. constantly getting up what well, I was at particularly near the end to we. Yeah. And so I it was so interrupted. Like there are cluster feed nights with a newborn are hard. Yeah. But weeing every half an hour when you're pregnant. <laughs> I just feel like there needs to be a better balance of what you hear before you become a parent and we shouldn't be scaremongering everyone. Yeah. But also, there are amazing just you waits. Just you wait till they smile and they go, Erg. 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 Winnie always That's Winnie's first word. Erg. Erg. But there's just, there's so many good just you waits as well as the more difficult ones. Mm. And you can't ever grasp any of these things until they actually happen. So when people are like, just you wait, you're going to feel this. And it's like, you can't grasp that feeling. So and neggy. Yeah, I know. She's so neggy. So neggy, and there's so. Do you not many... realise how neggy they sound. Yeah, but I don't know. I I do feel for people in that in a way because they probably experienced something really horrible themselves, or they. Yeah. But also, I think there's. It's, this isn't always going to be the case, but there will be a level of, like, I personally through like the harder moments, Ooh. like to try and view things in like not a really negative way yeah i like to like live as happily as i can because i hate being down <laughs> yeah so i don't like to sit in like a negative feeling for too long so like when things are really hard i know that it's just like it's it's gonna change again yeah and like i try to view it like that where it's like okay this is a really hard day yes i feel like shit right now but firstly, I'm not going to go and make someone else feel shit and tell them that they're going to experience that too. Mm. But secondly, like, it will change again. Everything is temporary. Yeah. Um, so that's always what I try to think to myself when it does feel quite hard. You know, if, if Willie's having, like, a particularly difficult day or week, then I will just remind myself, like, this will change and we'll get through it. Yeah. But we are lucky to have each other too because, you know, if, if you're doing it alone, much harder. Yeah, for sure. And we have, you know, help from our friends and family if we ask. Um, which I feel like if you can, definitely grab all the help you can. Because it's oh, yeah. just really, really helpful. Yeah. And don't feel like you can't or like you're not doing it. Like you're... you're. No, I mean, do you, know, do you think people feel guilty? Yeah, they have to definitely. Really? Definitely. I mm. think people often don't feel like it. it's like they can't do it. They should be able to just do it themselves, but... My mum always says it takes a village. It takes a village. It takes a, a village. Baby. When are you get in your car? I've got it. I just haven't shown you yet, but it's outside. I got it just before we went away. Um, it took a very long time, but I will show you in. It was worth the wait, wasn't it? It was. Little baby blue. Little baby blue. No, I love it. It's so cool, but I'm so scared to drive it because I've never had a new car. <laughs> So I haven't driven that much, <laughs> but it is really nice to have a car that I'm not scared it's going to roll down a hill backwards. Yeah, it's always nice. Up. It's it's a nice feeling to know that you can park your car on a hill and it's not going to roll backwards. How long do you plan to breastfeed? Uh, I'm sorry, these are so mummy, aren't they? Sorry. I don't know yet. I, I I'm not sure. I mean, 
at the moment I am still just breastfeeding and expressing but I definitely would be up for introducing some formula at some point so that um and then are you gonna do night feeds then because <laughs> i'll be doing more day feeds is that how that's gonna work or maybe what? yeah oh that'd be nice <laughs> wouldn't it i do do night feeds too you just do the one that's not the better, better time what you mean you do a morning feed <laughs> <laughs> i do the one at midnight just before she goes to sleep well no not all the time yeah she has a bit of boo before bed yeah i'm tiny little bit yeah, anyways, top anyways, it's um, not a competition. I'm. I really appreciate what you, all the work you do. Yeah, I feed her all the rest of the time. You just got the, the worst time in the day. You've never said that before. It's all coming out now. I know. I knew I was getting mugged off, but I thought, no, oh, no, this is just know, what dads do. Excited to. I mean, I, I might not say this when the time comes, but I'm excited to wean her and just like see her enjoy foods and then I'll go cook for her. Definitely not doing like feed then. No, she she will have some milk still then. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think if it depends what happens, but I am enjoying breastfeeding at the moment, and with expressing as well, I find that I can work around things. And you know, if I need to be somewhere, I would express a little bit more so that if she can't be with me, then Niall can give her the bottle. But if we need to, we will add in some formula at some point because we did always say we would, didn't we? Yeah. We just haven't got to a point yet where we need to do that. The thing I will say, and you this is me it, being though, really you? honest. You yeah. love breastfeeding. I do love breastfeeding. But like, it will make, be quite emotional giving her something else now. Like, when we introduce something new, because she's always just fed off my milk. Mm. Like, when we first gave her the bottle, I, I like, was really emotional because I was like, oh, this is the first time she's not feeding not just off the boob yeah, right, and yeah. then when she first has formula I know I'll I will feel like a little <gasps> but it's fine it has to progress yeah <laughs> I'm not gonna be one of them don't it worry it does no, this is how it starts are you back on contraception the moment actually no I wasn't on contraception before because I've always used natural cycles which is like an app that you track your periods and take your temperature um I did that for two years Two, two and a half years before I then switched it because you can switch it to help you try and conceive and like track when you're fertile because that's what it's all about but we are using condoms at the moment aren't I'm, we? I'm on contraception now <laughs> he's not happy, happy. <laughs> well it's just because I haven't had a period yet and like my app isn't no, going to be be fair accurate. they're not too bad they get such a bad um wrapped condoms but <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, good one. You said um, that. I didn't mean it like that, but uh, yeah, it's not. It's not the end of the world, is it? No, you can get thin ones. <laughs> yeah, get the, just get the thinnest ones you possibly can, and it's alright. No, I, I. But yeah, I haven't currently got a period, so um, I can't like just track at the moment because it it needs to like know where my cycle is, and we can't tell still. But I will just be using natural cycles then afterwards because I've used it for years and it was so good. Then Johnny's straight in the bin. <laughs> oh my god. Sake. What are your plans for Christmas this year? That's a good one. Oh, I just love talking baby about Winnie. Christmas. We're going to be cuddling, aren't Basically, we? everyone wants to have Christmas with us because of Winnie. <laughs> yeah. Don't they? So everyone's changed. Hopefully, Niall's dad will come over from. from, from <laughs> <laughs> from France, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe. That would be really nice because Carl's gonna be here. Carl's, Carl's moving close to us, even closer. So he was living in the same town as us. He's gonna be living over there. About two minutes away. We'll be able to see his house almost from it <laughs> from this window. Oh, so. that'd be nice, wouldn't it? And then, so he's having Christmas with us this year. We did one Christmas with him during lockdown time, and he couldn't go home, so mm. he had Christmas here, which was really fun. So he's decided he's going to this year, which I'm really excited for. Mm -hmm. My mum will be here, I expect. Granny, Granny Mum. She's a granny great mom. Granny. Granny Mum. Gonna be like Piccadilly Circus, love. 
Gavin and Stacey, that's basically it. We've got the Welsh side and the English side. Yeah, we're going to have a big and party. And baby win that like brings that everyone. Do you know what is really nice though, actually, with a baby is how much it brings everyone together. Because everyone just wants to see her, not us. Yeah. <laughs> there was some swooshy titles. Oh, there they were. <laughs> you always talk to him. There was some swooshy titles. <laughs> with a block nose. I have such a block nose right now. Will you continue your businesses now you're a mum and dad? Yeah. Yeah. We can't just pack them out, can we? It's not a livelihood. <laughs> well, I think so, some people do decide if... Because it is it's hard when you're a small business. Like, Bluey's hard because of the type of business it is as well. With yeah. your um, with the Good Bite. Easy. I mean, the Good Bite's thriving, isn't it? Yeah. You're killing it at the moment. Yeah, I'm doing well, yeah. Oh, your face. That is a really <laughs> cute face. <laughs> <laughs> your business is doing really well and I feel like um, the type of business it is where it's like very digital isn't it but then you have now got your book um, available for pre-order on Amazon now <laughs> and then Bluey being a small business but a product based business it does make it more complex with continuing it with being a mum because it requires a lot of energy um, yeah. And it doesn't currently really earn much profit at all, but hopefully that will come and I will be continuing that it just it's slightly more complicated because it, it It's just it's, it's challenging isn't it? It is challenging Bluey. It's doing very well But in terms of like running a small business that requires a lot of um, investment but not having help from a third party investor does make it difficult. It's like a full time thing in itself, isn't mm. it? Really. So hopefully we can make it work whilst being a mum. Mm. I think we will because the the product sells really, really well thanks to you guys. But I just hope that we can get it to grow beyond where it is now because it is difficult. We just need outside help basically, but we'll see. With like investment and stuff. And then Beyond will still be continuing. I love Beyond so much. It's like my little baby. 2021, I think I launched Do you hear that? No, you've got my... another little baby. No, she's my baby. It's she's my tech little baby. baby. <laughs> my tech baby. And I love that business because obviously it's all about, you know, helping women with their fitness and um, helping them in a way that's not toxic and, you know, helping with them physically and mentally. So I love Beyond and that will definitely be continuing. Mm. So will Bluey, but Bluey's just a little bit more complicated. Silly girly. Okay, we'll just do a couple more. Quick fire. Is your current home your forever home? Quick fire, go. Uh, yeah, for the next three to five years. Until the mortgage freaking interest rate drops, that's for sure. I do really love this house. Mm. I really love this house, but I do We've imagine- We've done a lot of work, so it's literally just the our idea. Room. Of, yeah. You two your rooms, killing it for the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, parenting styles, what's yours v mine? You can do this one. And then we'll do one more. I think we're exactly the same. Do you think? I think so. I think we're quite similar. She's pretty chilled. Uh... I think it, maybe it's harder to tell at the moment because well, she's, she's so little. You know, parenting is just like, we're not disciplining her, are we? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, we're not no, we trying very to much... teach her manners. We're not... No, you know I, I think, think it's hard to tell at the moment until she's like... I think you'll Doing be the more. you'll be the strict one. I'll be the push. I'll be the pushover. I don't know. Daddy. I, I think you might be surprised by that. I'm pushover. <laughs> daddy, can I have chocolate? I'll go on then. <laughs> go on then. Daddy, can I watch some Peppa Pig? I'll go on then. <laughs> At the moment, we kind of just um, I think it's called like parenting on demand, yeah. where you just follow the baby. We don't do like wake windows or anything like that. She's she not. Is she gonna be a redhead? Enough filming now, lads. Okay, let's do one more question. Yeah, one more question. Have a cuddle. Show everyone oh. that lovely little mullet you're growing. <laughs> <laughs> the little rat's tail. Okay, most used newborn essentials. Sorry, this is a very, very baby Q and A, but the, all the questions need to be really related. <laughs> You want some baby? Let me get some. Oh, okay. Here, bouncer. She is just obsessed with it. We had a different one before, but this one, I know why people rave about it. It's just. It's been great. to Grand Canary and back. Yeah, it is. Spent many days on the by the pool. Rocket. Oh yeah, the rocket on the pram. <laughs> yeah, the rocket is this little thing you can get off Amazon, which you attach to a pram, and then it rocks the pram for you. It, it always works. makes me laugh that like when you see sort of 
middle-aged people, the generation above us, they're always like, what no. is this contraption? Why, why, why was that not around in my day, they're saying? Yeah. These fucking Gen Z fuckers. <laughs> Gen Z. No, no. <laughs> Try to make it sound like I'm younger than me. Yeah, you're not that young. You're not that young. No, nearly 30. Charlie D'Amelio age. Nearly 30. <laughs> 30 30 and 5 next year. Yeah. I'll be flirty and... <laughs> you flirting with you? Oh. Won't all work for every baby, I know, but the man bottles are the most similar to a boob, to a nipple. And apparently, if you want to do bottle and boob like we do, they are the best. She loves a good man bottle. She's not loving the boob right now, though. Oh. Oh, still there. Because like, <laughs> her whole character just went so red. <laughs> She's quite funny when she's having a bit of a Well, I feel like that's funny. the best thing to do. Don't stress at each other when she gets grumpy. We just <laughs> laugh. So <laughs> Try to just take a step back out of my body because I get so overheated and, and like flustered when she cries. And I try not to let it stress me out. So I just am like, I look at you and you usually just try and make me laugh. Nappies are oh, good. Dear. Yeah, you need to get nappy, don't you? And Tesco, cough. two pounds versus Pampers, 12. Niall always wants to get the snazzy things. No, I don't. Yes. You always make me out to be this fucking... Niall this... will... Niall, me and Carl no, will agree on this. No, slander. Niall, Niall's embarrassed now because he, he loves a bit of Waitrose, right? And I'm like, just go to no, fucking Tesco's. I'm a chef. We're going I'm a to chef. Lidl's. My food products matter to me, okay? <laughs> Minnie's not happy about this conversation. Okay. She's gone back to it now. Tesco nappies, two pounds, way better than Pampers, twelve pounds. Leak out of them, Poonamis. Look at the weight. Look at the way you're in the light, and I'm in the shadows. <laughs> Painting me out to be some angel, fucking waitress shopping yeah. villain. You knobhead. Right. Anyway, I think Wen's had enough of this now, so we're gonna love you and leave you. And this will probably take me so long to edit because we've done like shadows. an hour of footage. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little Q&A cat chat. That'll probably be the thumbnails again. <laughs> we'll hopefully see you in the next one. It's probably going to, well, it will be a vlog. Get a bit cos. Maybe do a Harry Potter marathon.